In this video, we're going to learn about how to find a model for linear related data. We're going to do it using an example. So in this problem, a marketing firm wishes to find a function that relates the sales of a product and the amount spent on advertising. And this is really a typical real-world problem. So the company varies the amount of advertising money they spend. And what they notice is that generally, if they spend less, they make less sales. And if they spend more, then they make more sales. But what they really like is to find an actual relationship that helps them make predictions and make decisions. So what we're going to try to do is find a linear model that does a good job of fitting these data points. And we know how to find a linear model given up two data points, but here we have seven data points. So how do we know which two out of these seven data points we want to use? Well, the way we're going to make that decision is by plotting all seven of these points and then trying to see which two points would make the best fit line. So we're going to start by looking at the x-axis and trying to label it so that our points fit nicely on this grid. What we notice is that our values of A go from 20 up to about 28. And if we look at the amount of real estate that we have available on our x-axis, we can start that at 20. No reason to start at 0, because our data points don't go anywhere near 0. And if we look at how many boxes we have available, it looks like we can go up by two boxes every time. And so if we label from 20 up through, we'll go up through 29, since our last data point is a little bit more than 28. So 27, 28, and 29. And this labeling process is going to be different for different problems, but the general idea is that you want to use as much of the space as possible. You don't want to have all of your data points crammed into one corner of the grid. All right, now let's look at our y-axis. So our s values go from 335 up to about 351. So let's go ahead and start our y-axis at around 330. Again, there's no reason to start at 0. So at 330. And then if we look at how many boxes we have available, we can actually do this one for one. So one box is going to be one value of the sales variable. So I'm just going to skip up by fives just to avoid having to label a ton of these. So 335, 340, 345, and then 350. Okay, so now let's actually plot our points. So the first point is 20, 335, so that's going to be three right here. And then our next point is 22, 339, so that'll be right here. Again, you want to be careful when you do this. You don't want to put your dots in the wrong places. And we've got 22.5, 338, so that'll be right here. And then we've got 24, 343. So that will be right here. And then we've got 24, 341. Which is right around there. And then 27, 350. It's right here. And then finally 28.3, 351. We'll have to guesstimate the 28.3 just a little bit but it's going to be right around here. Okay, so what we can tell is that our data points are generally pretty good. If we were going to try to find a line that went near to these points, we could draw it freehand pretty easily. But we'd actually like to find a model for this. We'd like to find a formula to uh, model these data points. So we're going to pick two of these data points and use them to find a formula to model this data. But we can already tell that there are some bad choices that we could make. So one bad choice we could make is to use these two data points. If we use those two data points, then the line that we get would look something like this, and that wouldn't go anywhere near the other five data points on our line. So instead, and, and there's not one right answer here, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this data point and this data point. And when I graph that line, the line looks something like this. And we can tell that that's not perfect. It doesn't go right through all of the points. But of course, it can't go through all of these points. This is not a set of exactly linear data. The best we can do is try to find a good fit line. OK, so which were those two points that I used? That was this point, 22, 339, and this point, 24, 343. So if we get to the actual problem that's being asked here, right, so, so no one has actually asked us a question. So here's what the question is going to ask. 
So it says find the linear model for this data. So, so we're on our way. We know which two points we're going to use. Again, we're going to use this point, 22,339, and this point, 24,343. And now we know how to do this. We first find the slope between those two points. So the m is going to equal the change in y, 343 minus 339, divided by the change in x, 24 minus 22. And the top, 343 minus 339 is 4. And on the bottom, 24 minus 22 is 2, so our slope is 2. So now that we've got the slope, we want to use the point-slope form, which remember is going to be y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. Now what should our x naught and y naught be? Well, here we have to be a little more careful than we normally are in this kind of situation. Normally we can use whichever point we want to plug in for our, for our point in our point-slope form. But what we don't want to do is plug in any one of these seven points. We only want to use one of the two points that we used to find the slope, because we're looking for that line that we found on the previous slide, that line that we were graphing. And that line only exactly goes through these two points. It doesn't exactly go through any of the other points. It just kind of gets sort of close to them. So we want to make sure that one of the two points that we picked for the slope is one of the points that we use for our point slope. And for that, it doesn't matter which one we use, but it has to be one of these two that we started with. So let's go ahead and do, use the first one, 22 comma 339. So that means that my y naught is 339. My m I already figured out is 2. My x naught is 22. Now x is really the variable a, the amount spent on advertising, and y is the variable s, the amount of sales. So now let's just simplify this. So s minus 339 equals 2a minus 44. And then all I'm going to do is add 339 to both sides. And I get s equals 2a plus 295. And that's my model. And again, that's not the only model that I could have gotten. I could have chosen reasonably a bunch of different possible pairs of points. This is just what I get when I choose the pair of points that I, that I did. Okay, let's do one more follow-up to this. So now that we have our model, what do we do with it? So hypothetically, we might have this kind of question. How much do we need to spend on advertising to achieve a sales level of 400? Well, again, our model is that S equals 2A plus 295. So if we want sales to be 400, that means we want S to be 400. So 400 equals 2A plus 295. And let's just solve for A. Subtract 295 from both sides. We get 2a equals 105, and then divide both sides by 2, and we get a equals 52.5. So we have to spend 52.5, whatever the units are here, they didn't tell us, so thousands of dollars perhaps, but that's the level of spending that we need to get that level of sales.